What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. Seems about Halloween kills once again. I didn't think I'd be doing another Halloween kills video, but then I remember the extended cut was coming. So what are the differences in the extended cut? So I'm going to be going over something on the Reddit page for Halloween movies by Pastebun Anon. So shout out to you if you hear this video and I'll leave a link to it in the description. So the differences in the extended cut include, a, well, so most of this stuff I have seen, but I'm just going to go over all of it because I haven't actually sat down and looked at the extended cut. I've just kind of been jumping through to identify the things listed here and go watch those moments so in the extended cut you have the scene during the flashback of michael myers looking at lonnie from behind the edge with an extra track of music you have an extra 10 seconds of Lori arriving at the hospital in the ambulance this extended cut also includes a scene of Karen in the morgue looking for her husband's body and getting shooed out by a hospital worker who looks overwhelmed with the with the deluge of bodies another difference is a few more shots of michael looking at sandra while she bleeds from the bulb wound i'm pretty sure that's gonna be disturbing <laughs> and then a few extra shots of allison in the hospital a longer pov shot of trevoli when he initially walks into the hospital a few shot a few more shots of Cameron's face when he's being used as a human pinball and the big ones the only extra kills in the movie are a few more mob members deaths are shown on screen and it is less edited down tommy is killed longer and with the broken sharp end of the bat going into his face oh that's gonna definitely gonna be brutal so yeah i i haven't seen that one i i've seen most of the things on this list but not that one because i stopped i wanted to go to bed <laughs> and then the alternate ending after michael kills karen in the way shown in the theatrical cut the camera pans over to karen's cell phone ringing on the ground it is laurie attempting to call karen after feeling something is wrong michael answers and breathes into the phone while laurie and hawkins stare at each other she says into the phone i'm coming for you michael she drops the phone grabs the knife and leaves the hospital with a determined look while an extra track of music plays the last shot of the movie is the blood knife like in halloween 2018 so those are your differences in the extended cut do you think that sounds worth buying it or checking it out again i haven't actually sat down to watch the extended cut in its entirety i'm going to be waiting to do that actually on christmas day uh yeah i will be doing that on christmas day right after i watch a christmas story or maybe even before i watch a christmas story the other thing i want to bring out about the extended cut is i know it will have its home media release the week screen five releases so for those of you who already are anticipating and planning to watch my screen five review the day i put it out at this point unless plans change that screen five or five review will be up on january 12th which i think is a wednesday yeah it'll be up on january 12th wednesday right after i get out of the uh press screening or promo screening for it if not before if we're lucky enough to have something before that and i'll be giving out the digital code for halloween kills in or halloween ill yes halloween kills extended cut in some capacity um if you have one moment of the digital codes in the past you already know have an idea of what i'm going to do I'll, I'll be talking about it more as the date nears and when i actually put out the review for screen five of course but as far as like these differences the one i'm most intrigued to see because i did not see the longer way in which tommy Doyle does i'm i'm excited to see that in its entirety uh i definitely am going to sit down and of course watch this to get more context of all these differences and then the alternate ending that is the ending that a lot of us myself included because i needed to know how if, how a time jump would be justified i made a video about this i at least read the ending of the script so then when i saw the movie i'm like that's not the ending i read but it's going to be a part of the extended cut so it's just like i i would prefer this ending i think if it sounds a little bit more emotionally impactful and it leaves you on the edge of your seat a little bit more getting you anticipated for what's to come whereas with the version we have the theatrical version while it still i guess kind of has the same effect i don't think it's as impactful something like this you know you just killed this woman's daughter and the last thing we're going to see is her clearly very broken but now she's she's going out there to fight you once again and i i'm curious to see how they explain this with a time jump how do you explain even if you kept that version at for the theatrical version i'm just curious to know like the way the movie ends the time jump when you go to the next film is just going to feel unnecessary i just have this feeling that it's not going to feel very natural the time jump won't feel natural it'll feel unnecessary depending on how it's depicted on screen it could pay off very well but at this point in point of the game the way the movies have ended whether you watch the theatrical or the extended cut the time jump is going to be 
I, I think off-putting to some people. They're going to turn it on and be like, hey, what happened? I thought she was walking out of the hospital. Oh, no, you don't have to worry about that. There's a time jump. It's four years. <laughs> and it was supposed to be right after, but, you know, they changed it because they thought of a better idea. So as far as, like, all the other stuff going on here, the extra kills of the mob, you know, the changes that I wanted were just to have more development of Lindsay and Tommy. Just more development of Lindsay and Tommy. That's really all. Marion even just give me a little bit more of that maybe some more intimate scenes or moments with them including Lori but I know that's probably just stuff that's being saved for Halloween ends at this point since Lindsay Wallace Kyle Richards will be returning she will be back as Lindsay Wallace and we'll get to see all of those intimate moments hopefully with her and Lori because I know she expressed interest in this in the recent statement she gave when it was announced that she would be reprising the role of little Lindsay Wallace in Halloween ends she hopes that she can have some scenes with Jamie since they didn't really get to do that I know all of us kind of not all of us but some of us were looking forward to that because of the behind the scenes stuff that we saw of the two interacting and the way she jumped into her arms thought it was very cute but then they don't have much of an interaction because Lindsay kind of takes a sideline Loom, um, Lori in and her herself is kind of sidelined for most of the film even though we see her a lot she's not in the thick of things as it relates to all of the carnage going on for a good chunk of the film so the differences of Halloween Kills extended cut uh, I mean for the most part it sounds like it's going to make the movie a lot more entertaining than it already is because again I, I like this movie it's not a movie that I, that I would deem bad overall there's just a lot of things if you go listen to my review there was just a lot of things that kind of pushed it down from what we have with the 2018 film it does a lot of things better than the 2018 film in terms of capturing the mood and just the climate of that 1978 vibe in those flashback sequences and the recreation of the Myers house this is just that recreation alone of the Myers house is just something for me that'll keep you above in the positives no matter what you do as long as it's as long as no matter what you do is something completely bonkers and off the wall and it doesn't go that far so Halloween Kills was still a pass for me I enjoyed it just had a lot of issues in terms of just the narrative decisions that i saw on screen at times but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below what are you going to do are you going to buy the extended cut do you think these differences are making it worth checking out if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe subscribe turn on post notifications check this video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews if you would like me to cover in the future if all that in my guys i will see you in the future